Cindy. And that's Steve. And together, we like to flip furniture. So our screen, our table, and our accessories are lacking the color and the bohemian look. But with the Ultra Dye, that's all going to change. Folk Art Ultra Dye is a non-toxic brush-on dye that works on unfinished wood, wicker, hemp, reed, and fabric. It creates a bright, bold color that allows the natural wood to show through. Our boho color palette was inspired by textiles from India and Mexican embroidery and festival style jewelry. And on this furniture flip, we're going to be exploring and teaching several techniques for dyeing wood, including stenciling, ombre, and the basics. You ready to flip it? Let's flip it. For our screen makeover, we are using six different colors. The brush set comes with two pairs of plastic gloves. I have pre-sanded and wiped my project. Be sure to shake your Ultra Dye. The brush has Taclon bristles perfect for a smooth application. Dip in white to remove excess dye. Apply with long, even brush strokes. Use a paper towel to remove any excess dye. After 15 minutes, apply a second coat for deeper color. If desired and on one color dye projects, lightly brush satin varnish to seal. Use heavy duty glue to attach the wood cutouts to the screen. Use a book as a weight during drying. For our table, I'm going to stencil with three different ultra dye colors. First, sand and wipe your project clean. It is very important that you stencil with a dry brush. You'll dip and wipe and tap off all the excess dye. Begin with your first color. Hold the brush vertically and make swirls or small taps. Add your next color and swirl to blend the two colors together. Then add your darkest color. Continue around the entire tabletop. Add dye to the edges. Seal with Mod Podge Gloss Acrylic Sealer. We used Inca Gold paint on the legs. Our next technique is a one color ombre. Coat your project with a liberal amount of water. Load your brush. Begin at the base and brush horizontally, working your way to the top. You can add more dye or water as needed. Let dry for 15 minutes and add a second coat for deeper color. On our banner, I'm doing a multicolor blended look and I'm dyeing some wood beads. Start at the base with your lightest color. Next, add your second color, overlapping your first color. Finish with your third color. Feather all the colors together. Add more water as needed. Add an ornate gold overlay with Inca gold paint and a pattern stencil. String some wood beads. This will make the dyeing process a lot easier. Dip them in your dye. Make sure they're good and coated. And after about a minute, rinse them in a water bath. And then just pat dry. It is important to note that Ultra Dye is not washable, so it should only be used on items that will not be in contact with water. I'm doing a freeform design on our pillow with a stencil brush. I like using a stencil brush because it creates textured edges.
how the pillow turned out. Are you kidding me? You put I a bust. gem on it. <laughs> You know I like to add sparkle to everything. Plus, I was covering up his pencil marks. You, that is an absolute lie. That is so <laughs> not true. The ultra dye covers beautifully on top of everything. I saw a pencil mark and I just glued a gem right oh, over it. Not true. <laughs> we hope that you've enjoyed learning about the new folk art ultra dyes. They are really fun to work with. Yeah, and they are amazing on top of wood with these killer bold colors. I love them. And I love how you can blend the colors together too. Yeah, so make, cool. make your own. If you want to see more furniture flips, be sure to subscribe to this channel give us a thumbs up and leave your comments we can answer any of your questions and we will see you next time see you guys later time to pull this gem off <laughs>